doing a double A conveyor workout today. It's going to be Ooh. about strengthening that body. We're definitely going to be getting that heart rate up. I'm really excited. But just real quick, wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you have a backpack, candy, and some books that you'd like to add for some added resistance today, make sure you pause this video and then go grab that, bring it back. Even if you have a dumbbell, that will work as well, okay? Anything you can do to add a little added resistance will definitely go a long way. So, we're starting off with those standing mount climbers. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start going over all exercises. We have eight exercises that we're gonna be doing today. And uh, today we are gonna have Coach Stephanie starting off with the regression. So make sure you guys will regress. You guys are going to be watching her. So here's Coach Stephanie. Woo! There we go. Hello, hello, hello. Very nice. Over here to my left, I have Coach Darian. Woo! And he's going to be demonstrating any way to regr uh, progress that exercise. Okay? Yeah! So make sure you guys look at the coach that you need to in order to have a great workout today. So again, starting off with our exercise number one. We're going to go ahead and get those hacky sacks going for that warm-up. Exercise number one is going to be a squat. And guess what? You can never do on too many squats, right? No. Every single day, we're squatting, okay? Love it. So, Coach Aaron over here is going to go ahead and demonstrate our squat routine today. So, he has a sandbag. If you got one of those, I want you guys to use a mat. Or you can simply just use a backpack with lots and lots of books in it. Yes. Okay? So he has that backpack on right here, and he's going to do a tempo here. So what I'd like you guys to do is you're going to go ahead and push those hips back, bend at those knees. You're going to go down four, three, two, one. Hold for two, up on one. Okay, again, four, three, two, one. Hold for two, up on one, and squeeze those glutes and legs. Okay, very nice. So Stephanie's going to be doing the same thing as the regression if you need to. No weight at all, okay? Exercise number two and also our next warm up is going to be our hurdles. Okay, so I want you guys warming up those hips right here. All right, so exercise number two. We're going to do our high spins, okay? So Coach Stephanie and Coach Darian is going to demonstrate those for us, okay? So go ahead and show them what those high spins look like. Okay, so we're going to be shuffling over. We got one knee up, so you're going to shuffle quick over to one side, lift that knee, and then over to that other side. So here, if we need to regress, remember, you can just go a little bit slower. Use all the space that you have, okay? And there we go. Thank you, coaches. All right, yes. we're going to continue on with our warm-up. So our next warm-up is going to be a squat and a reach. So I want you guys squatting down, reaching it up and over. There we go. Get a nice stretch there on the side of your body. Okay, exercise number three, we have our horizontal pull-up. So, Darian's gonna go ahead and get down to the ground. So notice over here, he's going to flex his feet. He's gonna keep his feet down on the ground, okay? His arms are gonna be reaching forward. From here, we're gonna lead with those elbows. We're pulling them down for a four count. We're holding for two, and then we're gonna reach it up for one. So again, a four count, pulling it down, squeezing those shoulder blades to the center. And hold for two, reach it up on one. Very nice. So if you do need to regress this exercise, just don't lift your chest up as high. You do you, make it your best, okay? All right, moving on with that warm up, we're gonna do full body extension. So bringing those arms back into that squat, all the way up, reaching it for the sky. Lift those heels, okay? Warming up those ankles. All right, exercise number four, we have our glute bridge, okay? So on this one, we're going to be doing some thrusters here. So you're not just going to hold it. And again, if you can add some extra resistance, we'd love it if you could do that. Okay, this will help make you guys stronger out there. I know that's what you want. Ooh. All right, no sand coming up. Be careful of it. All right, so notice here his weight is going to be in those heels. He has a sandbag for some extra resistance. He's then going to lift up those hips as high as he can all the way up. Squeeze those glutes. And then he's going to come down with control. Okay, we don't want to just prop it down. We want to control it. Okay, resist that gravity. Keep that tension in those glutes. All right, thank you, Coach. Darian. Gracias. All right, exercise number five. And actually, before we get to that, we're going to go right back to our hacky sacks. Okay, because remember, you guys, that warm up 
It's gonna be super important, okay? We wanna make sure we're getting that blood flow and it's really gonna help prevent those injuries, okay? Nobody wants to get hurt, right? All right, so next exercise, exercise number five. We have that lateral lunge. And we're gonna be doing the same count, okay? So Coach Jerry's gonna go ahead and show us that. He's gonna step over to one side. He's gonna go down slow. He's gonna hold it for two, up on one. And if you guys wanna make this a little bit harder, add a little extra resistance. Grab that backpack, grab that weight, whatever you can use, okay? I want you guys challenging yourself. So you're gonna focus in on that same side, okay? All right, moving on with our warm up, back to our hurdles. There we go. Keep that chest up while you're doing that. All right, exercise number six, we have our low rotation chop. So same thing here, you can add that weight if you want, or that backpack out in front of you. We're gonna be stepping those feet wide. Coach Jerry's gonna go ahead and demonstrate that. He's gonna go from one side over to the other, adding that rotation here. There you go, looking good. Woo. And then if we need to regress that here, Coach Stephanie, she's not gonna go as low. She's gonna have a water bottle here for a little extra resistance. Yeah! Just watch those knees when you're doing that rotation in those hips, okay? There you go, looking good. Very nice. All right, so moving on with that warm up, you guys, we have our squat with that reach. So let's see that squat. Reach it over. Reach it over, feeling good. All right, we have two more exercises to review. All right, next one we have our push up with that T rotation. So Darian, go ahead and show us what that looks like. He's in that high plank, he's going down, he's pushing up, and he's reaching it up with that left arm as high as he can, okay? So down slow, go up, make sure you guys are fully turning there. We want a nice rotation here, making that letter T. There you go, looking good. Now if we do need to regress this one, I want you guys to keep your eyes on Coach Stephanie, okay? So she's gonna take it down to her knees, Again, going down for that push up, back up, and she's gonna add that rotation, okay? Remember, you guys don't have to go fast here. I want you guys focus in on strength, okay? Yeah. So keep that tension. Woohoo! All right, last warm up, you guys, right here. We're gonna go right back to our, so we, oh, full body extension, excuse me. Down, all the way. All right, last exercise. We have good mornings, okay? So this is an awesome exercise to work on core stability to work on strengthening those glutes, stretching those hamstrings, getting them worked as well. So, Darian has his sandbag right here on his back. You guys can simply just use the backpack if that's what you got, use it, okay? And he's going to be bending through those hips, okay? So he's pushing those hips back. He has a soft bend in those knees. He's gonna fire up those glutes when he's coming up. Eyes are out in front, notice that back is flat. There you go, looking good, Darian, you got it. Thank you. Same thing with the regression, you guys, if you need to, no extra weight, you're just gonna simply have those fingertips right at your ears. And look at that, her back is nice and flat there. Looking good, so just come down as far as you can until you feel that stretch in those hamstrings. And again, fire up those glutes, okay? Woo, yes. Awesome job, coaches. All right, so we're done with our regular warm up. so guess what, now we're gonna be doing four minutes 20 seconds of each of our high knees, and then we're gonna do a side to side sumo squat. So we're gonna alternate those two exercises for four minutes. You guys ready for that? Yeah! Woo! Yeah! 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 So we are gonna get that clock ready. Right. And I am gonna go ahead and crank up that music, because you know that music, it really does motivate you, right? It. All right, so let's get ready, coaches. Yeah. Are you guys ready up there?
12 seconds off, two rounds in a row before we move on to the next. All right, you got this. Yeah. Get ready for those squats. Grab your backpack, grab your weights, whatever you can use for that added resistance. Are we ready to go? Woo! All right, yeah, let's start in five, four, three, two, one. All right, we got it. I'm gonna turn up that music. All right, remember you guys, 34 on, 12 off. We got this. Woo! Uh-oh. I'll take it, let me there see. There we go, got it. All right. Yep. Try to open it up. Woo! All right, guys. Keep it going. We got less than 10, you guys. You're doing great. Focusing on those squats here. Three, two, one. All right. So we're going to do another round of squats. So I want you guys just taking a little breather here. Get ready for round number two. In three, two, one. Let's go. So remember, this is going to be four counts going down, two counts holding it. One second, going right back up to the top to do it all over. And we have 20 seconds to go. All right, looking good, you guys. There you go. So why don't you come here and to Stephanie. They're keeping the chest up. Focusing on the floor. We have five more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. Keep the core muscles tight, lift 
get ready for that round number two, you guys. Come on, this is our last exercise. Three, two, one. All right, let's go, you guys. Come on, come on, come on. All right, looking good, Darian. You got it. And that kick in, Zoe. Back is flat. There you go. You got it, Stephanie. Looking good. And she's holding that weight out in front, so if it's not comfortable in your back, I want you holding it right at that chest. There you go. We got 15 seconds to go. Okay, 
Let's do that again. Nice and slow, you guys. Remember, now we can slow down. We were in beast mode, but not anymore. We're going to go and cool it down. Switching modes right here. All right, one more time. Reach it up, reach it up. And exhale. Woo! Moving those arms in and out. All right, how are we feeling? Oh, great. Yeah, we're feeling good. Bucks. I hope you guys are feeling awesome out there. Guess what? Yes. You can check this off your list of things to do today. You are done with that workout. So now we're just getting to that best part and that's stretching, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the top of our body. We're gonna drop those arms down. We're gonna tilt our head over to one side, either side. Okay, pulling those shoulders away from our ears. And we're gonna switch sides. Woo! Just focusing in on that breathing. And again, switch other side. Get rid of some of that unnecessary tension, right? Other side. There we go. Okay, we're gonna do some slow circles here, but we're gonna go slow. Okay, not fast. Slow, low time. Okay, give me one more full circle, same direction. All right, we're gonna go the other direction, please. Again, make sure those arms are staying by your side, shoulders are down. We don't need the whole body circling, right? All right, and then we're going to come back to neutral. All right, perfect. All right, I want you guys to take your one arm across your body here. Make sure that arm stays straight. We're going to stretch out that shoulder. Should feel pretty good after those push ups. Okay, yeah, I know we've been doing a lot of push ups, you guys, but we're trying to practice for that work challenge, right? We got a lot of push-ups in that one. Now we did do our pull-ups today. I know a little different than our regular pull-ups, but that's okay. It's a good way to keep the back muscles strong here. We want to maintain that strength. Go ahead and switch sides. Stretching out that other shoulder. No diggity. All right. There you go. You guys hold that stretch for about 10 more seconds. Give it a good pull. Should feel good. If it hurts, you're pulling a little bit too hard. Holding it for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, elbow up, pull that elbow in. There we go, stretching out those triceps. And then what I'd like you guys to do here is just go ahead and make sure you glue those feet down to the ground. Tilt it over to the opposite side. We're gonna hold that stretch. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Switching sides, pull that elbow in. Same thing, glue those feet down. Tip it over to the side. Hold in that stretch. Feels good, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. You guys worked really hard today. Awesome work on your total body. Strengthening workout today. All right, and release. We're gonna reach our hands behind us, fingers laced together. Okay, pulling those shoulders back. Try to take those hands, if you can, away from that low back. Chest is up. And we're going to hold that stretch for about 10 more seconds. And focusing in on that breath. Relaxing. No need to keep, again, that unnecessary tension here. And we're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, one. All right. Again, arms in and out. So now we're going to go ahead and move down to the lower body here. So what I'd like you guys to do is you're going to go ahead and take that right foot. You're going to cross it over to your left side. You're going to fold forward. Okay. And then from there, I want you guys to take your arms. You're going to more towards your right. Okay. Do you guys feel that on your left side? Oh, yeah. Yes. Good. Yeah, yeah. We're getting that nice IT band stretch there. I want you guys to kind of let those arms hang a little bit. We're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, and roll it up, roll it up. All right, while you guys are switching sides, and go ahead and fold it forward. Take both arms over to the opposite side, hold it there. So while you guys are holding it, let me tell you what's for breakfast, okay? What's for breakfast is called a kabucha. So kabucha, kabacha, 
Kabacha, Kabacha, excuse me. I want to say Kabucha, but there's only one else. Kabacha. Gotcha. Brussels sprouts, egg whites. Sounds good. I love Brussels sprouts. Gotcha. Anything with Brussels sprouts? Oh, yeah. I'm there. All right, so that's on page 13 of your cookbook. So look it up, try it out, post a picture. I want to see it. Go ahead and slowly roll it up. There we go. Very good. All right, we're going to go ahead and take one foot back to the bottom. You can try both feet. I don't know. See how that works? <laughs> got it. Right? Give it a try. All right, so we're going to stand tall, you guys. We're going to reach that arm up to the ceiling. Grab for that ear. Reach that arm out. Whatever helps you, okay? Pat your head. Rub there you go. Down. There. Whatever you can do to keep that balance, all right? Family activity. Simon says. I know. Simon I like says drink day. half your body weight in ounces of water a day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and switch. All right, our quarantine challenge. This is a good one, you guys, because it kind of goes with the word of the week. Set and commit a bedtime routine. So we need to focus, you guys. I know we're kind of all out of our normal routine. Now this unnormal routine is kind of becoming uh, routine? I don't know. But we need to make sure that we're establishing a good bedtime routine, okay? So getting in that stretching at the end of the day, winding down, not staying up super late watching that TV. Not good to do at the end of the day. Maybe reading that book at the end of the day, doing something to relax you. All right, going to release and stretch out that low back, you guys. Last stretch of the day right here. Feet apart, hands on your thighs. We're gonna go ahead and lift that chin, arch that back, kind of inhale, exhale, tuck the chin, tuck in that bottom, squeeze the core, and again, breathe in, arching the back, lift the chin, exhale round, curve through the spine. We're gonna do that one more time. Breathe in, and exhale. All right, roll. 